Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make an interesting arrangement. And really, our uh, inspiration for today's design is this beautiful wisteria. Now, I'm really fortunate that there's a bit of wisteria growing at the front of my garden, and it's taken off up into the trees, but I suddenly realised that I could actually cut some and maybe use it for flowers. And um, I've never used it before in water, but apparently it does does do okay. So if you cut it, give it a good drink, it will it will be fine in arrangement. It won't last long, but the fragrance is beautiful. And uh, if you've got access to wisteria, then why not cut some, bring it inside and enjoy it. So we wanted to use that, but I've also got some other nice flowers as well. I've got a few tulips, some lamb's ears, uh, a little bit of burginia, and uh, a little bit of hookera as well. So that's the materials that I've got at hand. Now, how best to do this? I thought, well, I could put it in a vase, and then I remembered that I have these metal stands. So this is quite an interesting little metal table. Uh, but if you turn it upside down or on its side, you could use it in a different way. So I thought this would be really nice to frame our design. And for our mechanic, we're gonna use, well, I was really looking to see what I've got with black, and I've got this interesting little slightly Japanese, well, it is Japanese uh, container, and we're gonna use a Kenzan in there as our mechanic. So the Kenzan is going to support our flowers, and because it's not particularly big, it's also very easy to hide. So the first thing we must do is add some water and just enough to cover the top of the pins and then we can look at our branch. So it's how best to do this is really the... is really the trick. So I don't want to damage it. I mean, I'm pretty sure bits are going to drop off it because it is quite delicate. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So I cut this first thing this morning and it's had all day to have a bit of a drink. We can kind of make use of our frame to help support our flowers. So straight away, we can take off this little guy. He's not needed. We've created a lot of impact. We've, we've got frame. We've got a nice line with our stem. We're keeping this quite empty at the moment. Uh, and all the flowers have got room to basically be seen and enjoy. So now we can see what we want to do. And flower-wise, I've got some beautiful tulips. And this is going to be fun to make. And I'm imagining this as being um, an arrangement really viewed from the front. And really with the tulips, you're going to find that they're going to head off in their own directions anyway once you once you put them in a position they're just going to start doing their own thing I don't really want to make these too short Yes, that was my knees. I've got to that age where you just bend down and everything cracks. But that's okay. Now this leaf is on, um, on a stem still, so we can actually use that if we want to add foliage. If it's not on a stem, then it's not so good. I do have another piece of wisteria, but I think you can maybe have too much of a good thing. 
Yeah, I think we'll leave that one out. So we'll just go with our lamb's ears. I really just want to bring them over. I really don't want to make this arrangement too contrived. I'd like it just to retain this feeling of space. So we've got some beautiful space here. Um, and it would be a real shame to, to lose that. We've got space up here. We've got nice line with the droopiness of that in contrast to our flowers. So really, I don't want to block this all up or get it all too busy. And by grouping the, the lamb's ears gives it more of a natural effect. So we've really got a kind of grouping of foliage, a grouping of the tulips, and then we're just gonna bring in our little hookera down here. Now, I don't have a lot of them. Hmm, I've got three. So, let us just see. So with the pin holder, once you've put in your key elements, you can actually, position your flowers and foliage anywhere on the actual pins. So wherever you want the flower to be, the stem doesn't actually have to kind of correspond with that. It could go right through the back and uh, So essentially what I'm saying is you can put your uh, stem onto the pins at the back and bring your f uh, actual top of that forward quite a bit. So let's just try that. Yeah. So just in here, you can see that it's uh, basically that way. And I've got a couple of little leaves here that we can bring in. And that is really keeping it quite simple. I don't know if we actually need, oh, this is quite nice though. Yeah, we'll have it. There is space. I want it just to sit in the right way. And that is us. So, as you can see, we didn't have a lot of flowers. We don't need a lot of flowers. What's really special about this is the wisteria. So we've given it pride of place and we've actually framed it to give it more impact. If this was just out in the air, it depends what's really going on round about it as to whether you're really gonna see it as much. But this really shows it off. We've tied it in with some beautiful tulips that are giving us nice, um, sympathetic colours. We've got a little bit of interest with our Burgenia and then the rest is really all about space. So the space within the frame, the space between the flowers and that's really important. It's very easy to have lots of flowers and to, to bring them all together but if they're all too close it doesn't look natural. So this is one way of making an arrangement using a pin holder and it's quite interesting talking about mechanics. If you'd like to see a video where we just put the flowers into a vase, but use a couple of stems to create a cross fixing, that's a really interesting technique that uh, you might want to have a look at. So at the end, we'll put a, a link to that video that was one that we've already done, and that'll give you another trick that you can put up your sleeve for when you're making arrangements. 
So hope we've enjoyed today's video. We've got new videos every week and we'd love you to join us for our next design. So if you haven't already subscribed, then click here to subscribe and we hope to see you soon.